Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, you're welcome. I'm going to show you how to neatly package your Nigerian food stuff when coming to the UK. Please stay till the end because I'm going to show you how to wear with that common bathroom scale in your house. If you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting for? Please subscribe, like, share this video and click on that bell notification. Let's get started. Let me start with palm oil. So I found these containers that are very good for freezing palm oil. They come in different sizes and the cover seals up once it's closed. Freezing palm oil is the best and the seal prevents leakage. For my obono, my mom told me to go to the market with a plastic bowl so I can collect the ground obono straight from the grinding machine. Well, I forgot. <laughs> After grinding, I got home and brought out a ball of glued together obono. So I break them into smaller chunks as much as possible and spread indoors to air dry with a fan plus Abuja Hamatan. <laughs> Then I ground them with my meal grinder. The sieving and grinding is just because I had a lot of time and I like how it looks fine without the chunks. I spread it out to dry further before putting in a container. See this sabono, the taste will not change and it will last long without refrigeration. I spread out my egusi to dry, but it refused. I just put it in a ziplock bag and froze it. Egusi will not stress me. After grinding my uzuza seeds, I spread it out and the people 10 blocks away could perceive it. Oh my goodness! It was just too strong. I couldn't air it overnight. Just packaged it after leaving it spread for about an hour. For my fresh vegetables, I just got scent leaves and oha leaves a day to my trip. I loosened them and allowed fresh air over them before packaging. I initially got some more hand leaves two weeks before traveling, but it dried up so much because of the hamatan, so I put it in a ziplock bag and put it together with my dried vegetables. I had to get new or hand leaves a day to my trip, then packaged it. Put washed bitter leaves into single-use plastic bags then into a ziplock bag before freezing. Same with Obaka, did you see that? I got the foil wrapped ogiri, put in a plastic container and froze. There was no smell. I have other food stuff that I packaged with ziplock bag and other containers. So here is my list. Obey. Uziza seeds. Obono. Dry fish. It would have been better in a carton because it broke into pieces by the time I got to the UK. Cocoyam flour. Suya pepper. Dried otazi leaves. Dried oziza leaves. Dried oha leaves. That's the one that dried on its own. Dry asa fish. Crayfish. Some were ground while some were not. Stockfish. Akidi beans. Was a little bit heavier. Achicha. I made this lovely delicacy. Coming soon on this channel. 
okba flour I made this wonderful okba pepper soup spice goat meat seasoning zobo with the fruit flavors abacha proud and good girl <laughs> can you feel this abacha oh my goodness i also got some nigerian snacks like kuli kuli plantain chips odara and kilishi to check the weight first weigh yourself get the reading weigh yourself and the luggage then subtract your weight from the weight of yourself and the luggage together i hope this video helps you package neatly before traveling see you next time bye